Giving him something he can feel To let him know this love is real This love is real <laughs> But would it be a Sophie Chanel video without a hair flip? Huh? No. Oh, 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 no, no. Now, is she worth it? Let me work it. Put my thing down, flip it, and reverse it. Yeah, she is worth it, honey. Hey, sunshines, it's your stay at home mom, Sophie Chanel, and I'm back with another hair review. Yes, you guys, I am back with another hair review. If you're already a part of the Sunshine Tribe, welcome home. If you're new here, welcome. Please come on in, take a seat. Come on in, take a seat in here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Please leave me some love down in the comments and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And you guys, I'm learning about the importance of sharing. So if you really like this video, please go ahead and hit that share button, share it to your Facebook, share it to some friends, send it to them in a text message, share it on Instagram, share it wherever, Twitter, tweet, tweet, all of that good stuff. Like I'm here for it and I definitely, definitely appreciate it. Secondly, I would like to go ahead and say a huge thank you to Sam's Beauty for going ahead and sending me over this unit. Thank you. All right, and so if you are already clicked on this video, then I know you were here to get the deets on this unit. And you know, one of my favorite synthetic unit companies, Utre, is in the building today. <laughs> Yes, and today we are bringing you Dominica by Outre. Here she is. And now if you don't know, Dominica used to be Dominican Bounce, I believe. Dominican Curls. It used to be like a half wig and then they brought her out as like a lace part. People wasn't feeling that. So they brought her out in a 13 by 6 lace wig you guys so it's 13 by 6 fully hand tied lace wig it does have the hd transparent lace um no plucking required i didn't pluck iron sleeves um yes and it does say that this unit is heat resistant fiber up to 400 degrees and i have dominica in the number two she ain't number one but she number two or She's still number one, even though she's a number two. You will see that I give you guys different styling options with this unit, so we'll, we'll, you'll see that in the voiceover. But I just wanna show you guys the stock card for this. And she comes in an array of different colors. And yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and jump into the rundown. I've been finding that my videos lately have been super lengthy. So we're just gonna go ahead, you know, I have my little rundown list and so, we're gonna jump into that. So the length of this unit, I did go in and cut her. I'm not really sure, but right now she's giving me like 14, 16 vibes. Obviously she's curly, so once you stretch her, she would be much longer. This, the density of this unit, she is full. My girl is full, no doubt about that. She dense. Dense, 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 dense. Okay. Tangling, yes, she tangles. <laughs> um, when it comes to shedding, I wouldn't say that she shed too much because I didn't really, this isn't a unit you're just gonna be combing through. Like I did like run my fingers through her. The little bit of shedding that I did get obviously came from me cutting the unit, cutting the edges, all that good stuff. So I'm not gonna attribute it to the unit in and of itself, but I'm gonna attribute it to me, moi, I did that. <laughs> Um, the price of this unit, I will insert it on the screen or in the description box because I'm not really sure. Um, you can purchase this unit from samsbeauty.com. That information will be in the description box also. Is this unit big head friendly? So this, I will say this. So Dominica is from the Perfect Hairline Collection. And I will say that typically in Utre's Perfect Hairline Collection, these units fit me pretty well. And I don't really have a problem using the elastic band. You know, I, I, I call it the web. Wide elastic bands. I don't have a problem with using her, but 
I put her on this time and she did not want to slide forth. You know what I'm saying? She did not want to come forth. So I had to go ahead and let go of that elastic band because I don't want my wig sliding. That ain't hot. So I would say she's moderate. She, I would say she's big head adjacent. Once I like didn't use the wide elastic band, she fit okay. Um, so yeah. And uh, for reference, I'm 22 and a half inches in terms of head circumference. Um, is this unit beginner friendly? She could definitely be beginner friendly. I can see someone wearing this unit glueless. And I mean, I, mine is still glueless. I use hairspray to kind of hold it in place. Um, so I would say that she could be beginner friendly. Like I said, I think that you could wear this without any sort of adhesive, tacking it down, but I knew that I wanted to give y'all the option. You know, I'm here to bring the options. I wanted to give y'all the option of the half up, half down style. So I knew that I wanted to lay her down, but I think she could be beginner friendly. This did not have the full scalp. So you didn't have to remove that. So she could be beginner friendly. I think that this would be a great um, starter unit for people that are not used to like the 13 by six frontal and luster. This hair has like a natural luster to it. Um, it wasn't, it didn't give me too much of a shiny vibe. Um, if you do see a hint of shine now, it's because I did go in with that silicone spray to kind of like tame the frizz from you know, manipulating this unit too much. And the texture, she's more of a silky texture. But not like baby doll hair silky. And, she, but she's not like, I wouldn't say she's like yakky either. She's the perfect texture for this type of curl. And I am feeling this curl pattern. So it's curls for the girls, for the a a a. Overall, you guys, I would give this unit like a nine, eight and a half, nine, because she's a look. Like I'm feeling very like sultry to the to the a. So, yeah, what do you guys think about Dominica? How is she coming for you? Is she, is she coming through with a sleigh or a nay? Would would you get this unit? Let me know down in the comments, and let's go ahead and see how I got into this unit. Hey y'all, so this is what Dominica is looking like right out of the pack. This is the hairline. She has um, a 13 by six frontal. This has two combs on the side, one in the back, the adjustable straps, as well as the wide elastic band. And this does have the breathable dome cap. So now I'm just going in with my Fit Me powder and the number 235 to tint the lace underneath. And right now I'm just like, ow, okay, we look at these long baby hairs. We're gonna get to that later. But now we're gonna go ahead and cut the lace. I'm back with an alcohol wipe and I'm just going to go ahead along my hairline and remove the makeup that's there so that when we go ahead and try to melt this lace, you won't it won't be so dirty and so now I'm just taking this flyaway mousse from the wig and weave line from Shea Moisture just to kind of push back the baby hairs and I'm gonna clip those out of the way so that we can go ahead and spray down this lace honey spray it down And so I just sprayed it down. I'm doing section by section. I go in with the blow dryer on low and I'm just using the end of that rat tail comb to just kind of smooth it in. I think it helps better um, just not to spread too much like makeup or product. And then I'm just combing out like the residue. And as you can see now I'm doing like a little tip and a tug and she is not going nowhere. I tugged but she is snug. And now we're just going to go in and create some grown up woman hairs. Not baby hairs. These is grown woman hairs. Did you see that thumbnail? Ain't nothing baby about this look. And 
and I'm just gonna take this elastic band to um, just melt down and hold the grown woman hairs in place and so now i'm just taking this true complexion contour palette and i'm just going to use this contour shade which is the same shade that i used when i was doing my makeup to go in and contour those same places where i removed the makeup um, i used to do my makeup color like foundation but i realized it works better to put the contour back in that place because that's where the contour was to begin with and now i am just giving you multiple styling options so it's captioned you can see what the different styles are And so after seeing the length in the back, I love me a good long big bodied unit, but I was like I feel like I could really do something with her with her short, you know what I'm saying? So I decided to go in with some shears and just kind of cut her up a little bit, give her some layers. You know, she's like me. She has layers, honey. All right, and so after you manipulate this hair too much, you can start to get a little bit of frizz, which is with any curly synthetic unit. So I decided to go in with this Simply Styling Spray, which I will have linked below. But this silicone spray works perfectly on curly units. Once you get that frizz, it kind of helps to smooth that out, get a little shine back in there, and ha help it to not be as frizzy and as, you know, tussled with, if that makes sense. All right, now it's time for the hair flip test. And yes, ma'am, you better believe that my girl Dominica passed the hair flip test. She is pulling out all the stops. She is taking pictures and taking names. You cannot let her go, okay? Miss Dominica is serving and I'm loving it. So let me know, what are you feeling about Dominica? Are you here for the big voluminous curls? Let me know. And also let me know which one of the styling options is your favorite. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.